Low income, some major changes coming this month. I have all the details and what you need to know right here in the video, so let's get right into it. I right, know in this video, I wanna share with you some details of some major changes coming in that'll directly impact over 90 million low income Americans due to some recent policy changes. We have a lot to discuss right here in the video, so let's get into it and talk through all the details. First off, quick question. Do you hate scammers? If you hate scammers just as much as I do, you need to take advantage of your 14 day free trial by signing up with that link right down below the video in the description or at the top of the comment section, it is pinned there as well from the sponsor right here on the channel Aura so they can go to work immediately protecting your personal information online and helping you crush the scammers as well as reclaim your personal information. In fact, let me share with you some quick statistics. In 2020, Americans lost 3.45 billion dollars because of scammers. If you think that's a lot, check this out. In 2021, Americans lost $6.1 billion yet again because of scammers. That was an increase of 77%. Now check this out, last year in 2022, it increased another 49% and Americans lost $8.8 .8 billion because of scammers. Now check this out, this year in 2023, with the current trajectory, Americans are on pace to lose over $13 billion yet again because of scammers. Now let me ask you the question again, do you hate scammers just as much as I do? I think we can all probably agree we do not want to be part of that statistic and exactly why you need to sign up with that link right down below the video in the description or at the top of the comment section yet again from our sponsor here on the channel Aura as they're extending this exclusive 14 day free trial for all of you right here in this community. And again, they will go to work immediately protecting your personal information online from the scammers, the hackers, and of course the dark web, as well as they will identify all the places your personal information has already been leaked on the dark web and potentially in the possession of the annoying scammers. So again, a huge thank you to Aura for extending this exclusive 14 day free trial for all of you right here in this community. Make sure to use the link right down below the video in the description or at the top of the comment section. Sign up there, lock in your 14 days completely for free. They will supply you with a list of all the places your personal information has been leaked on the dark web. And again, they will go to work helping you clean that up. I sent up a couple months ago, they found 30 places for me that my personal information was leaked. In fact, when you use that link down below, it'll bring you to this page right here and you can clearly see right there zero dollars for 14 days so again make sure to lock it in with the links down below or you can simply scan the qr code on your screen and again a huge thank you to aura for extending this exclusive 14 day free trial for all of you right here in this community sign up down below you'll be glad you did i certainly was i do not like my personal information out there on the dark web and that's exactly what they helped me clean up. So we're crushing the scammers one at a time. Love it, right? Anyway, let's help crush the scammers. Sign up with the links down below. And again, uh, you'll be glad you did. They'll supply you with that list. You'll be shocked to see what they find for you. All right, lock in your 14 days with the links down below. And uh, let's get into it and talk about the major changes coming this month for millions and millions of low-income Americans that I do want to bring to your attention. In fact, I want to follow up to another video that I had out just a few days ago talking about this as well as this is a major, major thing that is going on right here, right now. A lot of people are up in arms about this. And again, rightfully so, you're gonna see some major numbers here that I wanna share with you here in this video. And I wanna break this down and talk about some of the uh, questions that I've been seeing showing up down below in the comment section from some of you right here in this community based on that video that I had the other day. These are some massive numbers. Now get this, back in April, so just a couple months ago, right? Um, it's not that long ago. In April, they started this thing called the Medicaid purge or the Medicaid unwinding, okay? I've been talking about this for a very long time, in fact, I don't know, a year, year and a half, something like this. I've been talking about this saying, when the public health emergency declaration expires, we're gonna see this major, major purge out of Medicaid, okay? Uh, by the way, I'm talking about Medicaid, not Medicare. Big, big difference here, Medicaid, not Medicare, okay? But get this, just in the first two months of this Medicaid unwinding, they have removed already 600,000 people from Medicaid, and that's based on a very small percentage of people submitting their paperwork, and this is only based on 11 states. 
So just on 11 states with a small fraction of paperwork coming in, they've already removed 600,000 people from Medicaid, okay? Like I said before in the video, uh, uh, the video the other day, this is unfortunately going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Well, a lot of people are up in arms right now suggesting this needs to stop immediately. We cannot continue on this trajectory. It's just not the right method. Uh, a lot of people are losing coverages. In fact, as I mentioned in the video the other day, the statistics are showing, based on this report that was released, is showing four out of five Medicaid beneficiaries that are being uh, purged off of Medicaid right now, simply because of the paperwork that was submitted and filled out was not filled out properly, or it was omitting uh, important documents, okay? So I've talked about this many times before, and again, I wanna continue bringing this to your attention because if one little, say, I don't know, eight, nine, 10 minute video like this can save you a huge, huge headache in the future from being purged off of Medicaid, it's probably worth it, right? They're also finding that 36% of the paperwork that they're opening up is resulting in somebody losing coverages. That's crazy, right? That's a lot of people, which by the way, before they started the purges on this, 93 million people were enrolled in Medicaid, okay? It's suspected that anywhere between about uh, 6.3 and 25 million people are going to be losing Medicaid coverages. Well, based on the current numbers that we're seeing already, 11 states reporting 600,000 people removed on a small fraction of uh, paperwork actually opened. Unfortunately, I think that number is going to be very big. 10 plus million people based on what these numbers are looking like right now looks like a lot of people are gonna be losing coverage. But I wanna point this out. This can be prevented in a lot of cases because the paperwork was just improperly filled out or all the paperwork that they required was not submitted back to them, okay? So again, I just wanna pound the table on this yet again. I wanna bring this to your attention because this is happening, okay? There's nothing we can do about this. This is the rule that was put in place and unfortunately, because of the last three years, starting it in early 2020, all the way through this year, early this year, just a couple months ago, when the public health emergency declaration expired as in ended, it simply means that three, uh, three years worth of people that were on Medicaid and were not uh, removed or denied coverages are now being purged off of Medicaid, okay? So this is major stuff right here. We're talking millions and millions of people, 10, 15, 20, 25, potentially millions of people that will be removed from Medicaid, okay? So a couple of questions I want to answer for you really, really fast here, which is the other day in that video, I saw some questions down below in the comment section. Some of you reaching out saying, does this mean I'm going to be losing Medicaid? No, not necessarily. Okay. Here's what I want to urge you to do. You're likely going to be getting paperwork in the mail. Please fill it out fully and submit it back uh, as quickly as you can to them. Okay. If you have a question on something, you know, try to look it up. Um, I'm not really sure. It depends on what the question is. You may be able to find it, maybe call a phone number, your local office, something like that. Make sure that that paperwork is filled out properly and fully before you send it back. Because like I said a minute ago, four out of five people that are being removed from Medicaid right now is because of improperly filled out paperwork. Okay, very important stuff. You don't wanna lose your coverages, okay? I've been reading a lot of reports on this lately. It looks like it's a scary situation. Now, here's the thing. The first two months, April, only five states were purging people, okay? Only five, five states were going through the purge, okay? May, we picked up another handful of states. In fact, I believe in May, there were a total of uh, 19 states that were purging people, okay? Now, if we have 19 going on, that means now, going forward, we have another 31 states to go. We have a lot more states to go to start doing this process, okay? There's a lot more starting now. There's more starting next month. There's a lot going on right now, okay? Very, very important stuff. And again, I know we don't wanna create more work for ourselves, but at the end of the day, it's gonna be a bigger headache if you lose coverages and need to get it back, okay? All I'm saying is that when you get that paperwork, make sure you fill it out in its entirety, make sure you send it all back that they want uh, so we can prevent uh, losing any Medicaid coverages, okay? So here's one more, thing, uh, more, one more thing I wanna say really quickly. Those people that are earning too much money are generally the people that are being purged from Medicaid right now. If you're somebody receiving fixed income benefits like SSI or other fixed income benefits and you're enrolled in Medicaid or you're very low income, you're probably not gonna have to worry about this too much, okay? As in, you'll still have to do the paperwork. Don't get me wrong, the paperwork is still very important. What I'm saying is you probably won't need to worry about losing Medicaid coverages unless the paperwork is not filled out properly or it's omitting important documents, then you're probably gonna be removed, okay? But what I wanna say is just fill it all out. You're fine, you've got the information. But if you're somebody earning, I don't know, 60, 80, 100 grand a year, 
I'm sorry, but you're probably gonna lose coverage, okay? <laughs> if you're somebody earning that much money, you're probably not watching this video in the first place, but I just wanna throw this out there because this is very important stuff. Mostly what the objective of this is to do is those people that are not eligible because of earnings, things like that, those are the people that they're trying to get off of Medicaid. It's not because they're going after low income or fixed income people. They wanna make sure that everybody is you know, enrolled properly, things like that. So hope that makes sense. Again, be on the lookout for the paperwork. It could be arriving sometime soon. It could be arriving next month, the month after, this month, tomorrow. You could already have it. Make sure you look through your mail very closely, okay? Anyway, very important stuff right now. I hope this answers some more questions for those of you that saw that video the other day. Weird stuff going on out there, but this is the policy because of the public health emergency declaration that expired, uh, what, a month, month and a half ago, something like that. So as a result of that, that is what's going on here. Anyway, make sure to check out that 14-day free trial down below. Crush the scammers. Yeah, anyway, I was going to say something else that's funny, but well, <laughs> let's leave that out for now. <laughs> I'll say it in a different video. Anyway, my point is, let's help Aura crush the scammers. Make sure to sign up for your 14-day free trial with that link down below, completely free for the 14 days. Take advantage of all 14 days. Links down below in the description or at the top of the comment section. And as you can see with that screenshot I shared with you earlier, completely free, $0 for 14 days. You'll be glad you signed up. We're crushing scammers. Pretty cool thing to do, right? Why not? I mean, if you can crush anybody, why not it be a scammer, right? Anyway, they will help you reclaim your personal information right there as well. So sign up with the links down below, totally free for 14 days. Otherwise, a huge thank you to Aura for that, uh, for that exclusive offer here for all of you here in the community. Otherwise, subscribe down below, share this video with your friends, family, social media. Do your friends, family, and social media a huge favor. Share this video with them because there's people out there that are enrolled in Medicaid and they're gonna be getting this paperwork slash you know, being removed from Medicaid. And unfortunately, it's gonna be a sad situation for a lot of people and create a huge, huge headache for a lot of people as well. So save some people some time, save people a headache and um, help them get this information. So share this video, friends, family, social media, subscribe down below, enjoy your day and catch you again later.